Hey guys, it's Kevin, and this is going to be my review for the series premiere of Big Time in Hollywood, Florida. Now, this show I really knew nothing about. Um, the title alone I was really looking forward to. I knew it was a show on Comedy Central, and I'm like, you know what? I want to have some sort of show on Wednesday that I can just watch and review the season when it's over, which of course I'll do that with this show. Um, and I knew the plot. I thought the plot sounded really funny. And, uh, overall, what did I think in the first episode of Big Time in Hollywood, Florida? Overall, I like the show, but it has a lot, a lot of problems and some things that it really does need to fix that I do have some problems with. Now, I'm not gonna, like, recap the episode or anything, I'll briefly talk about what the show is about. Basically, it focuses on these two brothers, Jack and Ben. They are these two guys who, basically, all they do is make movies in their, um, they, they they like to make movies in, like, their garage, and their parents are pretty sick of it, and they're told that they have two weeks to move out and find jobs, and basically they don't really have much direction in their life besides making these movies, and they decide to try to scam them into paying them $20,000 as a severance, which would help fund their movies, because, you know, they want to fund these movies, they want to make these into real movies, and... Basically, that's what the pl that's what the show is basically about is about them trying to um, make these movies, trying to find a you know trying to find out where to go next and things like that. And that's basically a plot of big time and how and sort of like the shenanigans that go on as uh, they make as they try to <laughs> make the movies. But um. Big Time Holly, Florida. I'm going to tell you guys really quickly. It's probably not going to be a very long review because I don't have too much to say about the show, but I'm going to talk about what works and what doesn't work in the show. First of all, let's get to the acting in the show. The acting, for the most part, is really what works in this show. Um, Alex and Fanger and Lenny Jacobson are both great as Jack and Ben. They work great together. They're very funny. I could definitely see these two going very, going very far in their careers. They're both very funny in this show. Some of my favorite parts are their movies that they make, which are very funny, definitely. I thought some of their movies were pretty hilarious. I, there's one in the beginning that's just really, really funny, and I really loved it. Um, and just the fact that they like to make these movies I thought was really funny to see. I definitely really enjoyed that. Um, I think they work really well together. And their parents, too. Um, Steven Tobolowsky's great. Ka Kathy Baker's great. They're both very funny as their parents. They are, you know, they just, they work really well together. And I really like those four as a group. Um, John Bass's Dell I thought was really good. However... My biggest problem with the series is the other part of the show, which is all about how, basically, in order to make money, Ben has to pretend to have a drug problem and owe money to this drug dealer, and I'm going to be honest, the character that Ben Stiller played was terrible. I did not like that storyline whatsoever. I did not find it funny. I like that there's, like, a murder investigation going on. I think that's kind of cool. But just the fact that he has to pretend to have this drug problem and he doesn't actually have it, I just find it to be really stupid overall. And my biggest problem with the show is the writing because I don't really feel like the show fully knows what it wants to be. There are points where this just feels like a situational comedy and then there are points where I feel like this could actually end up being a pretty dramatic show. Um, this could be like a dramedy. There are points where I see that happening. It just, it seems like they don't exactly know what they want to be yet. Now, this is the first episode. It just, it got way too weird in the last, the last five minutes of the episode. It was like, I was literally like, is this a movie they're making? Here's the problem. The movies they make and what happens to them in real life are way too similar. Like, the movies, they feel like just movies. There's a scene where, of course... Spoiler alert if you guys haven't seen it, Jimmy Stats is killed, and I thought that was a movie they were making. I didn't realize that they that the, that his mom actually called the police and everything, and I just found it to be really stupid because I thought, why is this like a movie they're making? Because it just seemed like it could be, that's, that's really what it should have been. It's just a movie they're making, but it's not that. It was that he was actually killed. And I think it's cool there's, like, a murder investigation and everything, and that now they're going after him. I find that really cool, but I just thought that it just does not know what it wants to be. And also, the show is pretty funny, definitely, I will say that. The show is very funny. I was laughing a lot. I found some things very funny in the show. Definitely, I, I thought that, that it was really great. The, uh... Cinematography is great in the show also. I mean, definitely really good cinematography here. 
My only worry about the show really is that, as I said, I just don't know what direction they want to go, and I don't. Do they want to be this weird comedy? Because there are points where you're watching it, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? But then there are points where you'll just go, we'll go back to uh, their family, you know, their parents, and it just feels like a regular show again. It feels like I'm watching two different shows, and I really don't like it. I'd like to see what more of this show because I like it overall. I just don't really know what else to say about it besides I think it has some really good potential. I just don't really know what it wants to be yet. Um, but... There are, it, is, it does seem like it's going to get better. It seems like episode two is going to be better, which I'm looking forward to seeing episode two. Um, maybe it's just that this episode just wasn't really my thing. Maybe I just, maybe it just was, I think it was probably just because I thought it was going to be something completely different than what it actually was. Like, when I heard about the show, I thought it was going to be completely different. In fact, there are parts of the show that remind me of Silicon Valley. But then there are parts of the show that remind me of Man Seeking Woman. If you guys know, I stopped watching Man Seeking Woman because it just got too weird. I really don't want the show to go in that direction. I want it to be definitely more like a Silicon Valley and less like Man Seeking Woman. Man Seeking Woman is a kind of show that is not really my taste. I would like the show to be a lot more self-contained and a lot less weird. Um, some of the weird stuff works really well, just but the drug stuff, things like that, um, this the, the drug dealers, it just feels way too much like one of their movies. And I don't know if it's the point, if it's supposed to be like they're living their movies, but I feel like we just did not get enough of it. We didn't get enough of their movies. I didn't really, you know, I understand that these two want to make these movies, but I don't really see, um, we, we only saw a little snippet of some of them. I want to see more of what they have with these movies, because episode focused more on getting money for it rather than actually doing their movies and it kind of bothered me that they did that because I want to see more of what else they have in store but definitely I like the ideas they have I think they're going in the right direction I just don't really think they know what they want to do with it yet they need to decide what kind of show this wants to be and then I will decide if I want to continue watching it which I definitely will watch the second episode I'll watch the second episode and if I don't like the second episode then I won't watch the rest of the show but for right now I'm gonna say this I think I have a good idea they just need to fix a lot of things with the show because I'm very lost, okay? I'm very lost with the show, and I was paying attention. I'm not going to say that I wasn't paying attention, because I was paying full attention the whole time. I was very lost. I had no idea what was going on. The, every, every scene with Ben Stiller, I'm like, is this a movie? Like, what's going on here? I didn't understand it. It just, it's just way too weird, and it needs to fix that. But overall, guys, if my review of the first episode, Big Time in Hollywood, Florida, let me know what you guys think of this show. Again, I really don't have too much to say about it. Um, what do you guys think? Is this going to be a good... Is this going to be a hit for Comedy Central, or is this going to be um, not a very good show? I could see if someone does not like the show. Totally, I could see that. I personally think that it has potential. They just need to find what they want to be, and then I will decide if I like it or not. But yeah, that's in my review. I'll see you guys in my next video, which will be my review for the season finale of Girl Meets World. So I'll see you guys for that. Okay, bye.